If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! Okay, I promised I'd tell you the story... About the express train. About the express train. Back when I first moved into the magical house... No, actually that's not true. I wasn't even in the magical house yet. It was before I moved in. I was still living in Connecticut... And I was commuting an hour and 15 minutes up to spend time with my friends in the, in the magical house. So the magical house was also the Renaissance fair house, the Rennie worker house. And right. so the Renaissance fair workers would come home and stay in this house in between the days of the Ren fair. One night we slept 30 people in the house. Wow. Yeah. It was a six bedroom, four bath, three story Victorian. So we had people everywhere. Don't yeah, I was just going to say that's still but pretty cozy. <laughs> it was, it, we had people everywhere, but it was, th- you know, three o'clock in the morning and we were doing a grail ritual, which is where you have a big chalice with something to drink in it, which is often wine. And you have somebody who's facilitating and you have this circle of people who are all putting energy into something that you're looking to create. And so we had 30 people in the circle, three o'clock in the morning, which is the witching hour. It's the time when the veil is thinnest between the worlds. And we are all putting, we're all magical people, all putting our intent into this, this chalice. So big, big work. That's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And my shaman and I were the first two people to drink out of that chalice. And so you make a wish and you drink and so, or set an intention and drink. And so he and I both set the intention for the exact same thing without telling each other. We were doing our our wishes silently, right? And we both wished to be on our spiritual path (laughs) and our lives just went boom. (laughs) (laughs) Because be careful what you wish for, for you will surely get it, right? (laughs) And and he was in the final semester of his engineering degree, and he was halfway through the semester and lost his funding. Oh, so he was pushed into his spiritual path. So he was Hardcore. kicked out of school, right? Because <laughs> he had no funding. Now, who who hears about losing financial aid halfway through the semester? Right. Doesn't that happen. never happens. Doesn't right? happen. Never happens. But it happened to him. And I I don't even remember all the things that happened to me. But but it it was so significant that we actually we had this thing that you know it, it, when you're on the express train is kind of like being on a roller coaster. It's supposed to be fun, right? Mm. Wee, right? Wee. And so we we got to the point where we. We would call each other up when something happened, and there would be this weak little wee. <laughs> <laughs> you'd answer the phone and you'd hear wee. It's like, oh God, what happened now? <laughs> and it was just this thing we did for several months after this happened, as as our lives just blew up one thing after another, because it's always breakdown before breakthrough, right? Yeah. And, and so, yeah, that was a big time express train moment. And when you're on the express train, by the way, you can't ground. Or you shouldn't mm-hmm. because you're, it's as though you're on a train going 90 miles an hour and you're trying to stick <laughs> a, a stake rebar in the ground, yeah. through the ground you know, <laughs> and you're just going to get thunk, 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 yeah. as it, as it throws you through the train and, and eventually stops you. So yeah. you, you can't ground when you're on the express train. You have to center instead. Center is finding the, the grounding point within. It's, okay. It's, it's in the literal center of your being and it's the connection point between you and the universe. And, everybody who exists right so when you're if you if you do what we did and and you know blow your life up center don't ground that's an interesting difference there i think i don't think everyone appreciates that who's doing this because you often hear people say well you got to ground you got to ground you got to ground but sometimes centering is better well sometimes centering is the only option right i mean i'm moving right now i can't ground yeah 
I got I got nothing to ground into. I'm moving. Yeah. When you're moving, you you pull your roots up. You have to. Right. How do you move if you don't? Yeah. And, and when you say moving, you mean literally moving. Literally you're changing my, homes. I'm, I'm moving my home. <laughs> you know, when that happens, you pull up your roots. Right. You can't build roots in a place that you you are moving from. Correct. Yeah. Oh. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh, no,